Welcome to Cadence PointYC's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extrude structure and unstructured domains using a path extrusion. As you can see, I have in front of you two very similar cases. On the left side, I have a case with five structured domains, and on the right side, I have a case with also five domains, one structured domain in the center and four unstructured domains all around. So let's go ahead and focus on this first case. So it is very important that when you're creating a path extrusion to decide what kind of block you want to create. In this case, I'm going to select the structure grid type and I want to show you what you get. So I'm going to select my domains, create, extrude, path. And as you can see, point wise, right off the bat is deciding that there are several ways or at least more than one way to basically assemble these domains into a face. So in this case, the option that I have selected is one face per domain, which of course is going to create five blocks. There's another option that is called auto assemble. And if you choose that one point wise, will uh, automatically assemble these domains into as few extrusion faces as possible. So let's go ahead and click done here. And as you can see, I'm already uh, presented with our usual path extrusion panel. I'm going to select my connector that is going to define the path for this path extrusion. And as you can see, I have a nice preview showing me how everything is going to look. After I click run, you can actually see Pointwise creates five blocks right here. And more specifically, we have created five structure blocks. What I'm going to show you now is what happens if I follow the exact same steps, but I use or choose the unstructured grid type. Create, extrude, path. I'm going to go a little bit faster over here, and you can actually see Pointwise is going to create, in this case, a single block, in particular, a single unstructured prism block. Let's go ahead now and take a look at our second case. And I'm going to follow the exact same options. I'm going to start with a structure grid type over there. And I want to show you what you're going to get. Creating a path extrusion, run. Once it's done, you can actually see pointwise is going to create two blocks in this case, a structure central block that starts from that structure domain in the center. And then it's going to create a single and structure prism block all around that one. What happens if I create the exact same extrusion, but I choose the unstructured grid type in this case? Pointwise is going to create a single prism block. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.